Hello, welcome back to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in this short video, we're going to be changing the timestamp function, no service timestamp function, inside of a router to change the way our debugs look. So, we've got a GNS3 open, we've got a router open, and uh, I just did debug all. And uh, normally, you would never ever do such a thing, but as you can see from my topology, I just have one router. So, it uh, as you type in debug all, it's going to tell you that uh, you probably shouldn't do this. And, uh, well, we'll just say yes. And it's just going to go nuts. And we're going to stop that by typing in you all. And you can see that uh, stuff is still coming in because it's, it's buffered. So it's going to take uh, several screens worth of stuff before it actually stops. So your your debugs is actually important. A lot of times you'll be debugging OSPF, multicast, uh, you know, IPv6 stuff, all, all types of stuff. And um, you can see that in front of the debug message is, uh, you know, we, we forgot to set the time because if you forget to set the time on a Cisco router, it's March 1st. And it gives you a, uh, you know, a date and time there. So let's say uh, you, you don't really care about the date and time because it actually kind of makes things a, a bit messy. So what we're going to do here is going to go into conf t, no service, whoops, no service, and then the word timestamps. Exit out of there, show run, just to be safe, just to see if the command actually took here. It's actually at the, should be at the top. Uh, no service timestamps, okay, great. And then we'll exit out there, or actually we'll uh, debug all again. Once again, never do this in real life, but we're just practicing, so that's all right. And you can see now that our debugs have definitely changed. All we're getting is the debug message without the date and time. You all there. It's going to keep going for about three to four screens. Now let's say we want to add our timestamps back. All you have to do is service timestamps, exit out, debug all, and our times are back. Cool. Okay, once again, this was a short video on changing the timestamp function inside of your Cisco router. Thank you very much.